What's up everyone? Guys, I got a really special video for y'all. I'm going to be showing you three awesome things about iOS 16. Two of them you can see right here. I'm going to be showing you how you can change the shape of the dock on your iPhone. Yours probably looks like this, right? Mine looks like this. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. On top of that, I'm going to be showing you how you can get this awesome look uh, for your app library. And on top of that, I got a quick plug I want to mention um, that I also think y'all will enjoy. You can see that my Safari is red. Um, I released an app on the App Store. It's totally free. It's called Icon Hue. Link is down below. And of course, you can see you can change the color of Safari. And there are no uh, annoying app animations. So check that out. Get any color Safari that you want. Okay, moving on to the tutorial for this awesome dock. How did I get the dock to go from this, which is your boring iPhone dock, to this? Well, it's actually very simple using a glitch in iOS 16. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings app. And you're going to want to scroll and then you want to go to where it says accessibility right here. Boom, go to accessibility. Then you want to go to per app settings. Once you go to per app settings, you want to just See where it says add application right here. I just go ahead and did that and you want to add home screen. Now what you want to do is right where it says smart invert. Mine, you can see I have smart invert turned on. Yours by default will be turned off. So I want to just set it to on and it needs to be on for this tutorial. You could see that when it's off, this is what your wallpaper looks like. And when it's on, this is what my wallpaper looks like, and you can see the dock. So, pretty cool. And on top of that, um, once you swipe, um, sometimes this will glitch out and be, like, disappeared, which is pretty cool. Now, in terms of wallpaper, you might notice your wallpaper looks really weird. Here's how to fix that. It's sort of a workaround, but just hear me out. Basically, with Smart Invert, it will set the opposite of that color. So, you could see that if you want to have a blue wallpaper you need to choose the opposite color first so the opposite color of blue is orange therefore if I want to use this glitch in order to get a blue wallpaper I need to set it as orange and you can see it's set as blue if I want to have a purple wallpaper then that means I need to set it as green or something along the lines of that and by doing this, my wallpaper will be purple. So it's actually really cool if you do know color opposites. Um, very simple, you could just mess around and pick a color you like, and you can get a pretty interesting look combined with my Safari app. You can technically, you know, get any color Safari that you want. You can have a purple Safari on the screen like this, and with the square dock. Pretty sick. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.